Hi, this is Ryan Knox with the ANR GIS office. This video is going to demonstrate how to get data for ArcPad. Assumptions are that you have ArcPad installed on your GPS unit and you have ArcGIS desktop installed on your PC. And you've established a connection between your PC and GPS unit using ActiveSync, Microsoft ActiveSync. To execute this, you need the ArcPad toolbar. Um, to access all the toolbars in ArcMap, if you right click in the gray space, you'll get a list of all of them alphabetically. Make sure ArcPad is checked. This button will start the Get Data for ArcPad Wizard. The first screen is asking you to put to select data you want to put in a folder. Select data you want to put in a folder so you can transfer it to ArcPad. In our case, we just want the background image that we already created and the biomonitoring sites. The next window um, is asking what data you want to check out for editing. In our case, we're going to be doing um, some data collection and editing with the Biosites. So check that box. If you check this box, you're just getting the schema. Um, there will be no features, but there will be a shell so you can add new data. We want the existing feature that's shown here on the map. Um, depending on your mobile device, you can change the size of the edit form. Uh, most a lot of people have the GOXMs, 130 by 130 is a good size. Hit next. These are just some more options for ArcPad checkout. Um, if you wanted to export all of the biomonitoring sites for the state, you would check this box, the full extent of the selected layers. Um, in our case, we just want to visit one site. so. I'm going to check the current display extent, which is exactly what's in my map window. So we'll be exporting just one feature to update. Um, some other options, if you have a definition query, uh, features that meet that query or satisfy that query will be exported. And you can also change the display properties of your attribute table. Um, those display properties are reflected in the export as well. In naming your folder, I'm going to use something that makes sense for the, the visit or the field trip. And then we also suggest using a date field because you might be returning to the same site. As far as where this folder is stored, ANR recommends storing that information in one directory. In this case, I'm going to use um, an ArcPad directory on my files. You could also use a Y drive location so that you can share this information with other staff members. And make sure you have the Create an ArcPad Map uh, button checked as well. This will be useful in the field. Hit Finish. Right now, the wizard is packaging all that information into a folder. Operation successful. The next step is important. We need to physically copy that directory onto our mobile device. So in the top window, this is my PC. This is the folder I just exported. And this is uh, you know, the ActiveSync connection with my mobile device. I'm going to explore it. And now I'm going to physically copy this folder onto the mobile device. There it is. And 
with that, we're able to start data collection in the field. That concludes this video.